Hello, everybody, and welcome to Farmington, Illinois, Farmington High School, Central Farmington Central High School. I'm Mark Bixler and Bixler Video Productions, and tonight it is Prairie Land Conference action as we go right from the Fulton County Tournament, the girls' basketball tournament, to the first night you could play. We have a Prairie Land Conference game between Brimfield the Lady Indians, and the Farmington Lady Farmers. We're going to take a quick break. I'm Mark Bixler, M. Bixler Video Productions. We'll be back and we'll have the introductions of the starting lineups for tonight's game in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll-off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street, on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building by Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known and by M. Bixler Video Productions if you're looking at getting married give us a call and we welcome you back to Farmington as they are introducing the starting lineups here tonight first off for the Visitors from Brimfield, the Lady Indians, it will be number three, Kerrigan Dura, a senior. Number four, sophomore, Kennedy Dura. Number five, a senior, Hannah Wallace. Riley Keith wears number 21. She is a junior. And Shayla McCormick, a sophomore, wears number 22. The Lady Indians are coached by Jim Blaine. The host, Farmington Farmers, number two, Onyx. Lopez, a junior. Taylor Wassey, a senior, wears number three. Number 12, Jessica Settles, a senior, I should say. She is number 10. Number 11, a junior, Lindsay Skaggs. And the final starter, number 21, a junior, Hannah Jostis. The Farmington Lady Farmers are coached by Jody Rathbun. Brimfield enters tonight's game. They are 3 0. The Lady Farmers entering tonight's game. They are one and three. We'll take another break, and we'll be back with the opening tip-off of tonight's game in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North Fifth Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yonts, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By Hy-Vee, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Residential Cleaning, Commercial Cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank, with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. And we're back, as it will be Justice jumping against... Riley Keith, and it is the Lady Farmers that come up with the tip as that is settles. Skaggs gives it up to Lopez. Lopez, as that is deflected, and the steal. And ahead it goes, and the basket is good. So the first points on the board, Harrigan Dura with that off of the steal, and it's a quick 2 to nothing lead. We haven't even played 30 seconds yet as Jostis gives it up. Skaggs to Lopez. Skip pass, it goes to Settle. She fires and gets the three-pointer. 
settles and we quickly move the other way and that is blocked out of bounds so it will be Rimfield basketball they'll put it in play underneath our own basket inbounds pass goes to Keith and that is Dura could not get it to go the long rebound is chased down Kennedy Dura with that as she gets the ball to Keith on the near side into the wall she turns, left it a little short, and it is going to be the putback Wallace with that. And the lead is back to Brimfield. Skaggs gives it up. Jostis settles with it out top, brings it to Skaggs. Lopez and another steal, and we're going the other way. Lopez is guilty of that. Is Shayla McCormick came up with a steal. So the turnover giving it back to Brimfield. And the foul is whistled against Lopez. And the steal, Skaggs comes up with it and she'll get it up court. And the hand check, that's something that they are calling a lot more this year. I believe that was on Kerrigan Dura. Skaggs with it, drives in, dishes it back out to Lopez. Lopez, as the skip goes over to Settles, settles to Wasi. Right side it goes, Lopez. And not sure who she was throwing it to, but right to Keith. From the corner, the three pointer does not go. As that was McCormick, and inside, didn't see who shot it. It is Jostis that comes away with it, and they try to get it out ahead, but it's intercepted. McCormick coming up with it, Wallace, and it's going to be a blocking foul on Jostis as McCormick was going down the lane. So McCormick will go to the free throw line to get two free throws. First one is on the way, does not even draw iron, so it remains 4-3 ball game. 5.48 remaining here in this opening quarter. We've watched Farmington play several games. Of course, we had their games Friday and Saturday night. Friday against Canton. That was a game that the Lady Giants came out and just opened it up in the first half. They led 57 to 24 at the half, and the final ended up being 68 to 40. They go inside, and in the ball game is Alex Camp, and it will be. Brimfield basketball. Five and a half minutes remaining. Near side, that is Kennedy Dura, Kerry Dura. Back to Kennedy Dura. Inside, it goes to Wallace, to McCormick for two points. And it's a 6 3 lead. Settles. Wassey from the right side got it. And it's a 6-5 ball game and a steal. They tried to get it to McCormick and it's deflected. Skaggs gives it up to Wasi and they try to get Jostis, but it was a little behind. Them. So the turnover, giving it to Grimfield. I'm Mark Bixler. We're glad to be with you on Bixler Video Productions. We're going to take up residency, it seems for the next few days here at Farmington here tonight for this girls basketball Prairieland Conference game as Keith couldn't get that to go. It's out of bounds off of McCormick so it will be Farmington basketball. Tomorrow night and Wednesday night, which is Tuesday and Wednesday of this week will be up here for the Spoon River Tip-Off Tournament. Our Spoon River Tip-Off Classic Inside, Camp skips it back out. 
Skaggs to settle. Jostis. Skaggs looks to drive baseline. Cut off. Settles with it. Out to camp. Looks to drive. She pulls up, and that's her first shot, and cannot get it to go. Out quickly ahead. Kerrigan Dura gets the basket. And it's a three-point lead at 8-5. So Farmington had an opportunity there to take the lead. Here they have a chance to tie it. They get it inside. Camp, she is fouled, so she's going to go to the free throw line to get two. Riley Camp, guilty of our camp. Riley Keith, they are cousins. So Austin, or rather Alex Camp, getting that free throw. I don't know why I want to call her Austin. Eight to seven, she got both free throws. Keith drives into the lane, kicks it over to McCormick. Right side on the wing, baseline it goes to Dura, as that is Kennedy Dura, cannot get it to go. Keith, as that is nearly saved back in by Alex Camp. And while I'm thinking about it, I better mark down that second free throw. Now Dura, she took two steps, taking it out of bounds, and that's like uh, taking finger, your fingernails down the chalkboard, and especially when it happens right in front of the official. You are not supposed to move. And when the official is right there and he lets it go, and it's obvious that she takes steps. Inside, camp off, glass for two. And Farmington leads this 9-8. to eight. Camp, this is her first night of basketball. She did not play in the Fulton County Tournament. That does not go. Camp with the rebound, and she'll push it and picks up her dribble, and we've got a reach in, and that is who that's going to be. Be a common foul. Trying to see who that is on, but I can't quite distinguish who it was. Wasi, Camp, and she slid, and that is going to be a travel. 9 8 Farmington, 240 remaining here in this opening quarter of play. I'm Mark Bixler. Glad to be with you here tonight for this Prairie Land. Conference matchup. Uh, we are glad to be with you on Canton Public Access Television, Canton Public Access TV, as well as on YouTube. Dura gives it back to Kerrigan Dura. Kennedy Dura from the baseline for three. Got it. It's a two-point lead. They try to get it inside. It's deflected. They tried to get it into camp, but she couldn't quite get herself turned in a position to catch it, and it was deflected to Riley Keith. McCormick fires for three, does not go. That's out of bounds off of Kerrigan Dura. And we're going to have a timeout taken. Looks like it's going to be a full one. 203 remaining. It's Brimfield 11, Farmington 9. We'll be back in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality Disposal and quality roll-off by Modern Health Fitness Center located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services located inside the Graham Medical Building. 
by Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back at Farmington, it is a two-point lead, as we mentioned. Farmington with possession. Settles, gets Justice Wassey. Ahead it goes, Skaggs to camp from the left wing. Good. And we're knotted up at 11. And as Wallace has Kennedy Dura with it. Inside, Wallace spins, fires, rolls off, does not go, tapped out. Wallace couldn't get it to go and battling for it. Farmington comes up with it. Skaggs to the out top. Jostis settles. Look for Wassie as she was cutting toward the basket, but just a little late in spotting her. Nice pass into Camp, could not finish it. Camp was wide open, but I think she was waiting for contact. It didn't happen. Wallace gets that basket. And two-point lead for Brimfield again at 13 to 11. Where you know, Brimfield, one and three, Farmington. Wassie picks up her dribble in some trouble. And intended for Camp, but off of her fingertips. Inside, Dura. Kerrigan Dura with that basket. Skaggs as Farmington gets it into the court. Jostis. Baseline settles back to Jostis. Skaggs. Wassie open for three. Good! And it's a one point ball game. 15 14. Field with the lead as the first quarter winding down. Inside Wallace left it short. Wassey grabs the rebound. Eight seconds. Jostis into the front court. Takes it left side. She drives in. Lost it. And it'll stay with Farmington with 1.4 seconds remaining. Julie Broadway in the ball game as is Lopez. Jostis back, gets it back, puts it up, and can't get it to drop. We completed one quarter. It's a one-point ball game. Brimfield with the lead over Farmington, 15-14. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza, located on North Fifth Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By Hy-Vee, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Residential Cleaning, Commercial Cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back at Farmington, it's a one-point lead for Brimfield. Farmington with possession as we start this second quarter, and it's a near steal. Jostis somehow come up, came up with that. Skaggs gets it back. Jostis. Puts it up, the runner in the lane. She is fouled. She's going to go to the free throw line to get two. Let's see who that's going to go on. And I believe he called 21. I'm kind of giving up on fouls. I've missed a couple as Jostis missed the front of the two shots. She will get the second, though, a chance to tie it up. And she gets it. Yeah. 
15. 15. That free throw our basket does not go. In the corner, Lopez, and a timeout taken by Jody. Jody Rathbun. A 30-second timeout, 727 remaining. We're going to take a break. We're tied at 15. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country, 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll-off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street, on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back at Farmington is Brimfield applying some full court pressure. Camp takes the inbounds pass. They get it to Broadway. Broadway back to Skaggs. I should say Skaggs took the inbounds pass. Broadway gets it Jostis. Skaggs for three. Top of the key does not go. And Camp is called for going over the top. So with 7.14 remaining, it's a 15-15 tie. Kerrigan. Kennedy Duro with it now. From the baseline, skips across, does not go. That's Kenzie Schliff. That shot by Kennedy Duro does not go. Skaggs with the rebound, and she'll get it off to Jostis. Jostis works her way into the front court. Give Camp. Broadway, nice move, but cannot get it in the basket. And the rebound is to Kerrigan Dura. Skip pass is deflected. Skaggs comes up with it as she'll get it into the front court. Tied at 15. Another turnover. Both teams. Not keeping good care of the ball. Sliff fires, cannot get it to go. Wallace and a foul. Let's see who that's going to go on. Skaggs. Apparently they call that on. Looks like they called it on Lopez. I thought he said two. Wallace. Gets both of them. So it's a two-point lead. Skaggs with it. Gets it to Lopez. Lopez kicks it over to Jostis. She fires. Cannot get it to go. Tapped out. And it is Kerrigan Dura. She dishes it back to Wallace. And the two points. So this is the biggest lead of the night for... Settles. Wasi and it is deflected and the steal. And that is going to be a travel. Coach Blaine, I think, wanting a foul. And then he may have a point. Did she get the ball or was there contact made? That's the question. And the official didn't think a lot of contact was made. And that is kicking the ball, so Farmington will put it in play in front of the Brimfield bench. 19-15 with 5.28 remaining here in Farmington in the first half. Lopez takes the inbounds pass. Jostis 
Skip pass to Skaggs, fakes and goes baseline, kicks it back out, settles, has her shot blocked as Schliff comes up with it. Kerrigan Dura cut off, Wallace with it. She fires in the lane and gets it for two. Wallace is having a pretty good first half. She has 10 of the 21. That's going to be over and back. Twenty-one fifteen with four fifty-three remaining. That turnover gives it back to Brimfield as Harry Gandura with it out top. Gives to McCormick in the corner. Kennedy Dura. She fires for three. Got it. Her second three-pointer. And the lead is nine. So just like that, a 9-0 run by Brimfield. Lopesta goes to Wassey and the reach in. That's going to be on Wallace, I believe. Yes. Checking in the ball game. For Farmington is Callie Fletcher. Inbounds pass, and that is out of bounds. Lopez was just trying to keep the ball in play, and, and she, I don't know if she was trying to keep the ball in play, or did she think that was the spot that the inbounds person was to go to. That skips across the rim. Lopez with the rebound, and Jostice will work it across. 24-15. Jostis to Skaggs. Settles, and that is going to be over and back again. Twice. Twenty-four fifteen. We're under four minutes. We played just over half of this second quarter. Three-pointer. That is Kerrigan Dura, her first three-pointer. And a timeout taken by Farmington. 3.40 remaining. It's a 12-point lead, a 12-0 run by Brimfield. 27-15. Back in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By Hy-Vee, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Residential Cleaning, Commercial Cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank, with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make Him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back at Farmington, it's a 27-15 lead. Lady Farmers with possession. That's Jostis with it down in the corner. Wassie is bumped as she comes across the lane. And the whistle on the foul. A blocking foul. It'll be a common one. Jostis will trigger it in. That's Lopez with it. Skaggs to Fletcher. Try to go low post Wassie. In some trouble. Does dribble out and then Skaggs and Coach Rathbun is telling her young ladies as Jostis used the glass but couldn't get it off and then it's lost out of bounds. So it'll be Farmington basketball. She's pleading with her 
players, instead of trying to go over the defender, do the ball fake and go around them. Wasi goes baseline and the hand check. I think that's going to be on Wallace. Rossi will be at the free throw line. She'll be getting the one and one, I believe. I don't think she was in the act of shooting. First is good. Doesn't matter. She got that one to go. So she has six on the night. And it's a nine-point lead again, 20. 7, 16, or 11 point lead. Math was never my good subject. Camp in the ball game. She gets the rebound as Justice. She fires for three. It is in and out. That was more down than to begin with, but it just popped right out. Schiff fires from the wing, the baseline rather. It's good. Wasi, Jostis, Skaggs fires for three, cannot get it. Jostis crashes in, and she took the extra step. So the travel called, and it will be Brimfield basketball. Jostis had the rebound, but then kind of lost her balance and tried to fire it out, but slid the pivot foot. Wallace. Three-pointer, Kerrigan Dura. Her second three-pointer as Skaggs thought that Camp was there. Wallace, the offensive rebound and put back, cannot get it to go. Skaggs with the rebound. And she went down, and thus the track. Minute 55 remaining, 32-16. Now remember, this game was tied at 15. McCormick, Schliff to Wallace. Kerrigan Dura fires, cannot get it to go. Lopez with the rebound. She beats the initial pressure, kisses it off the glass, could not get it to go. Quickly the other way, Kennedy Dura. She gets it off to Wallace, and she is fouled, and it will go to the free throw line to get two. First free throw was good. Second one is also good. So it's a 34-16 lead. Camp. This is it over to Lopez. She fires from the wing. The two-pointer is good. Her first points of the night. And it's 34-18. So since that tie of 15... It's been a 19-3 run by Brimfield. Wallace drives into the lane. The half hook does not go. Jostis with the rebound. Jostis, nice job of saving it back in. But it deflected it to Kennedy Dura. She gets it down to Wallace. She fires it off the glass. Can get it to go. And Skaggs with the rebound. 45 seconds remaining. Wallace. Spin move, couldn't get it to go. Nice move. Offensive rebound does not go, and that is out of bounds. They say off of Farmington. Two Brimfield players there. And Lopez, but somehow it went off of Lopez. Kennedy Durant. Kerrigan Dura to Kennedy Dura. 
Sophomore and senior. Kerrigan Dura drives. Schliff to Kerrigan Dura. Can't get it. And we're going to go the other way as a little bit of a push off. Kerrigan Dura. So Camp will go to the free throw line and get the one and one. 17 seconds remains. We're in the first half. First free throw is good. Second one. She'll get that here momentarily. It's on the way and it does not go. The rebound is to Wallace. Kennedy Dura. It's off to Kerrigan Dura. Kennedy. Schliff. And nice job. Wassey steps in. Jostis has it tipped. Wassey fires at the buzzer. Cannot get it to go. It's off the rim. We've completed one half of play. It's Brimfield 34. Farmington 19. We'll be back with halftime and recap the first half and give scoring in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Spooner River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spooner River Home Health and by quality Disposal and quality roll-off by the Lewistown Booster Club. Go Indians! By Modern Health Fitness Center located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services located inside the Graham Medical Building by Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back at Farmington, it is halftime. A 34-19 lead for the Brimfield Lady Indians over the Lady Farmers from Farmington. Let's run down the scoring. First off, for the visitors, we have unofficially Kenzie Schliff with two points. Kennedy Dura with six. Shayla McCormick with two. And leading the way, Kerrigan Dura with 12. And Hannah Wallace also with 12 points. For the Farmington Lady Farmers, we have unofficially Annika Lopez with two. Taylor Wasi with six. Jessica Settles with three. Hannah Jostis with one. And Alex Camp, her first game back this year with seven points leading the way for the Lady Farmers. So very balanced scoring for Farmington. Uh, somewhat balanced for the Lady Indians of Brimfield as they have a couple players with 12 and then Kennedy Dura with six and then a couple with two. It is halftime, 34-19. Third quarter, it's underway in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By High V. Your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Residential Cleaning, Commercial Cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Third 
third quarter is underway as Brimfield with possession and they do not do anything with it. They did to get it inside, but it's deflected, blocked by Jostis. Lopez with it on the far side, kicks it back out to Jostis. Jostis to Lopez, open for three, fires, does not go. Battle for, and it is Kerrigan Dura that comes up with the loose ball. Cormick gets it off to Kerrigan Dura. Wallace, a one handed shot is good. And it's a 36 19 lead, and that is going to be another turnover. Six nineteen. Another one of those unforced errors as Kerrigan Dura gets the ball to Keith and Skaggs on the box out is guilty of that foul. And Keith will go to the free throw line to get two. Missed that one. She has yet to get in the scoring column here tonight. Would like to with this free throw. And she does. Her first point of the night. Jostis with it. Gets it off to Skaggs. And right back at her as she tried to get it. Skaggs gets it up the sideline. They hit Wassey and it goes to Settles. Settles with it. Cross court. Jostis, the runner in the lane, cannot get it, battling for it. Settles. She pulls up, fires off the glass. It is in and out. Wassey, the rebound and put back. It can't, will not go. And the rebound is to Kennedy Dura. McCormick to Keith, off the glass, cannot get it to go. Wallace chases it down and we have a held ball. Well, it'll be Farmington basketball. Camp checking in for Lopez, settles. Give us to Wassey and let her too much. We're at the six minute mark. The lead is 18, Brimfield with it. They are everything that we expected. Tight game, but they buckled down and went on a big run in that third quarter. That a three-pointer by Wassey. We'll get that in just a moment. Nice cut by McCormick, but couldn't finish. Camp gets it ahead to Settles. Jostis into the front court. Skaggs with it. Inside does not go, and what do we have? We pointed at. I it's a common foul. Kennedy Duro gets the inbounds pass from Kerrigan Duro. And an official's timeout. I think we've got uh, Jostis has some blood apparently, of some sort. So that, she goes to the bench to get that taken care of. Keith with it, guarded by Camp. And the foul whistled against Camp.
Dura to Dura. Kerrigan Dura with it right now. Gets it off to Keith. High post it goes. Wallace. Left wing McCormick. Back to Wallace. And Camp picks up a foul. Settles being replaced by Jostis. Common foul, so Brimfield will put it in play underneath our own basket. Keith from the baseline, cannot get it to go. It is battled for Wallace with it. She puts it up for two. And it's 39-22. Camp kissed it off the glass, wouldn't get it to drop, and they just, there's got to be a lid on that basket. And hopefully Wassey. If you're a Farmington fan, hopefully Wassey able to get that change. Jostis comes up with a steal, Camp, and she's called for traveling. And see a lot of movement on the feet that time, but official right there on top of it. 15 point lead, 39-24. We were tied at 15, but since then it's been all Brimfield. Skaggs gets it to Wassey. Jostis into the front court. Broadway with it in the corner. Back to Jostis. Underneath, intended for Camp, but scooting down the lane defensively was McCormick and coming up with a steal. Harrigan Dura to McCormick. Wallace for two, could not get it to go. Skaggs, a nice box out. And Dura picks Skaggs' pocket and takes it in for two. That was Kerrigan Dura. Jostis, she fires up the three and got it. Her first field goal of the night. She had 23 on Saturday and the loss to Lewistown. Kennedy Dura lost it, got it back. Wallace, Kerrigan Dura kicks it out. Kennedy Dura for three, cannot get it to go. It's battled for and it is Camp that comes up with it. She takes it down and then lost it out of bounds. And that's a good point. You see Jody Rathman kind of explaining to the her young ladies. Dribbling high, and they just reach in and kind of slap it away, and then you deflect it out of bounds. Wallace. Kerrigan Dura to Kennedy Dura. Back to Kerrigan, and it's deflected out of bounds off of Broadway. So it'll stay with Brimfield. 2.34 remaining here in this first third quarter, first quarter of the second half. Kennedy Dura put it in play. Wallace with it on the baseline, kicks it out to Keith. She fires the three, cannot get it to drop. The rebound and Broadway gets it to Jostis. Jostis and she slid the pivot foot as she tried to get the pass to Camp. point ball game 41-27 Kerrigan Duro with it guarded as Farmington in a man to man Wallace off the glass uh, actually it was not off the glass but she is just having a good basketball game Camp drives in the lane pulls up left it short Fletcher the rebound couldn't get it to go and Keith grabs the rebound Dura in the lane, gets it back out to Kennedy Dura. Jostis with the rebound, a minute 45 remaining. Settles fires off the glass, cannot get it. Fletcher with the offensive rebound, she is fouled. Well, as we said, 
We're here in Farmington tonight for this Prairie Land Conference matchup between the Lady Farmers of Farmington and the Brimfield Lady Indians as Walla, uh, Fletcher will go to the free throw line to get the two. Missed the first. And then tonight, we're here in Farmington tomorrow night, which is Tuesday night for the Spoon River Tip-Off Classic, the opening night of that. And then Wednesday night, we'll be back up here for both games. Both games Tuesday and Wednesday night. And then Friday and Saturday, we'll be in Canton for the Thanksgiving tournament. Broadway with a steal. She's going to take it in. Fakes goes up with it. Count the basket. Kerrigan Dura guilty of the foul. And a chance for the three-point play here to get this down to a 10-point ball game. Broadway's first points of the night. And she cannot get it to go. The rebound is to Wallace. Lopez steps in with a steal. And just like that, it should be 43-34. Maybe. Maybe it is 43-32. But I thought it was 43-32 with a chance to make it a 10-point ball game. And then they made the basket. We're under a minute. Lopez kicks it out, settles. Thought about it, but decided not. Jostis, she fires from the corner. The three left it short. And the rebound quickly ahead. And it's going to be a turnover. Jostis comes up with it. 35 seconds. Settles to Jostis. Settles. Looks baseline. Gets it in. Tried to get it into Fletcher, but it's taken away. Looked like Dura maybe got by with a Kennedy Dura maybe got by with a little palming the ball, carrying it. And another steal. Jostis. And I believe we are going to have a technical. Called against Jim Blaine. And he'll have to sit the rest of the night. So, Hannah Jostis will go to the free throw line. Obviously something Coach Blaine said. The official didn't appreciate. Jostis. That's her second free throw, the make and the third. So she is now three for five. And most importantly, it's an 11-point ball game. Or is it seven? Yeah. It's either a nine or a seven point game and Jostis could not get that to go and the rebound is to Brimfield. That ends the third quarter of play. Farmington has climbed back to a single digit ball game. They trail it 43 to 34. We'll be back with the final quarter of play in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality Disposal and quality roll-off by Modern Health Fitness Center located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services located inside the Graham Medical Building. By Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. 
And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back in Farmington, it's a nine-point ball game. Farmington outscoring them 15-9. to nine. So if they do the same thing here, we'll have a ball game. If they do the same thing in the third quarter, fourth quarter as they did in the third. Wallace gives it off to Kerrigan Dura. Keith drives into the lane, lost it, come up with it. Could have been a travel. I got called for that when I was in high school. Lost it and went and got it and was called for traveling. Very similar play. Fletcher to Jostis. Intended for settles, but Lopez able to come up with it and Kerrigan Dura with it and puts it up. Couldn't get it to go. Riley Keith couldn't get it to go, but Wallace does. Wallace now with 20 on the night. Jostis fires, does not go, and it is Brimfield that comes away with it. Kerrigan Dura with it out top. Back to Kennedy. Kerrigan has it now. Wallace. McCormick. Kennedy Dura. Riley Keith. Fakes, goes down the lane, count the basket. And that is a big basket and the foul. I think was on Jostis. So that is Riley Keith's first basket of the night and got the free throw. Fourteen point lead, it was a nine point game, 43-34, but a 5-0 run to start this final quarter of play. And that is too tall intended for Broadway. And the turnover giving it back to Brimfield. They lead it by 14 right now. McCormick looking to drive, kicks it back out. And before she could get it out to Keys, she took the extra step as Skaggs checking in for, skettle, for Settles. Under six minutes remaining here in this final quarter of play. Rimfield looking to remain undefeated. Three-point basket, it is good, and a timeout taken as Hannah Jostis getting that, her second three-pointer of the night. A timeout taken, it's an 11-point lead right now for Brimfield, 48-37. We'll be back to Farmington in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yonts, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By High V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Residential Cleaning, Commercial Cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. And they throw the home run. Dura goes up with it. Count the basket. 
Kerrigan Dura with that basket and the foul called against Farmington. Dura at the free throw line, missed that one, her first attempt at the charity strike. Kennedy Dura with it right now. It's a 13 point ball game, 50 to 37. Kerrigan maybe got by with a little bit of a walk there. She lost the handle momentarily. McCormick, and it's tipped away. Camp comes up with the loose ball. Jostis. She takes it to Skaggs. Skip pass to Wasi. Broadway with it now on the near side. Skip pass goes to Jostis. Back to Broadway. Open for the three. Fires. Does not go. And it is Camp that saves it. Nice save. Back to Skaggs. Jostis fires the three. Cannot get it to go. Is it in and out? Harrigan Dura. They try to throw it in. And it is a loose ball. Wallace came up with it. And she is fouled. So she's going to go back to the charity stripe. She's had a big game here tonight. Lopez getting ready to check back in. Wallace at the free throw line. Got the first. She'll get the second. She has 21 on the night. And she gets that one as well. 52-37, Farmington had pulled back to within 11 after trailing by nine. Got extended back out, but the Lady Farmers trimmed it down and that is off of Wallace. So it'll be Farmington basketball. Jostis will trigger it in. Jostis gets it in the corner. They get it to Wasi, and it is stripped. Ahead it goes to Kerrigan Dura, back to Kennedy Dura. Kerrigan Dura open for three, does not go, and it is Farmington that comes away with it. Jostis drives down the lane, kicks it out. Skaggs, Wasi to Jostis. From the baseline, Camp couldn't get it to go. Wasi was a little too tall on the rebound for her. And we head the other direction. Kennedy Dura, we're about 3.43. McCormick fires, skips across. Camp with the rebound. And the turnover. Grimfield with it as we approach the three-minute mark. Kerrigan Dura with it to Kennedy Dura. Kerrigan with it now as that is Schliff with it. Wallace to McCormick. Kerry, uh, Kennedy Dura. Kennedy or Kerrigan has it now. Schliff and they go into kind of a weave right now. They're looking to take some time off of the clock. Schliff with it, and looks like we're going to have a timeout taken by Brimfield. 2.49 remaining. With that timeout, we'll take one as well. 52 for Brimfield, 37 for Farmington. Back in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building. 
by Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back at Farmington, Brimfield with the ball, nice cutter, and the foul is going to go on camp as Dura with that basket. So she's going to go to the free throw line, her second attempt. Got that one this time. Jostis brings it to the near side. Wasi, Camp. Dura and the bump. And if it is on camp, I believe that is five. <laughs> Fifty five thirty seven, Dura get the first. Second one is good as well. So it's a 20 point lead here tonight, 57-37 as we are at the two and a half, under two and a half minutes. Wasi gives the ball to Skaggs. Lopez from the corner fires, too strong and it's out of bounds. It'll be Farmington basketball. 2.15 remains here in this final quarter of play. Jostis to Wasi, back to Jostis, cannot get it to go, and the rebound is to Schliff. Kennedy Duro with it, guarded by Skaggs, and a timeout taken by Jim Blaine once again. 2.02 remaining, 57-37, Brimfield over Farmington. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yonts, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By High V. Your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Residential Cleaning, Commercial Cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Kerrigan Duro will trigger it in as we welcome you back. A 20-point lead for the Lady Indians of Brimfield as they will get off to a 1-0 start in Prairie Land play. And from everything that I have read, and we're going to go the opposite way, I think an illegal pick called against Wallace. Rimfield is probably the team to beat in the Prairie Land this year in girls basketball. Broadway skips it over to Skaggs. Skaggs to Lopez from the baseline. She fires, cannot get it to drop, and Wallace grabs the rebound. A minute and a half remaining. Wallace gives it off to Kennedy Dura. Kerrigan Dura with it now. Back to Kennedy. A minute 21, and they're just going to play pass out front.
Wallace and the reach in and Wallace is going to go back to the free throw line to get two free throws as Farmington has committed 10 fouls so the double bonus is in effect. First is good. She'll get the second. It's a 21-point ball game right now with a minute 10 remaining. The second is on the way, and it's good as well. Broadway. Skaggs fires for three. Got it. And it's tipped out of bounds off of Farmington. 59-40, a 19-point lead. Wallace, as we are under a minute. Kennedy Dura gets it into the front court, gets it off to Wallace. Wallace picks up her dribble, in some trouble, trying to find somebody, and then she's bailed out by Jostis. 38.3 seconds remaining. And Jostis will foul out. Eight points in the second half to finish with 10. Camp finished with seven. That's what she had in the first half as Wallace got the first and the second as well. So it's back to a 21 point lead, 61 40, with 35 seconds remaining. Settles, gives it up, Skaggs to Lopez down the lane as Wassey couldn't get that to go. It'll stay with Farmington. And it goes to Broadway. She gets the basket. Quickly down is Dura. In the lane, got the basket. Carrie Gondura with that basket. She's had a big fourth quarter. Four seconds. Settles, fires. It's in and out. And that will end it. 63-42 the final score. We'll be back to recap this one and give you the scoring in just a moment. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to make some juice. It's going to be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on line. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Try Challenge it. your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay. Like it. right. They might surprise you. And she took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Back at Farmington, the final score here tonight, 63 to 42 as the Brimfield Lady Indians improve to 4-0. Farmington, on the other hand, drops to 1-4 on this young season. Let's recap the scoring. First off, for the Farmington Lady Farmers, we had unofficially Annika Lopez with 2, Taylor Wassey with 11, Julie Broadway with 4, Jessica Settles with 3, Kenzie Skaggs with 3, Alex Camp with seven and Hannah Jostis with nine. So Taylor Wassey leading the way for Farmington, the only player in double digits with 11 points. They fall, as we said, to one and four. On the other hand, for the Brimfield Lady Indians, we had unofficially Kenzie Schliff with two, Kennedy Dura with six, Riley Keith finished with four, all of those coming in the second half. Shayla McCormick had two points. Kerrigan Dura finished with 23 points and finishing the night with a game high. Hannah Wallace finished with 26 points. She was 10 for 10 from the free throw line. We might add that Farmington is going to be without the services of Paige Pasley for 
a little while, how long we're not exactly sure, but she was injured in that uh, Lewistown game Saturday night in the Fulton County Tournament as she collided with Annika Lopez and uh, it appears to be a little, possibly a strain in the shoulder area, uh, maybe a pinched nerve, not really sure of that, but uh, uh, she had some numbness in her finger, uh, one of her fingers anyway, so uh, could be a pinched nerve, but we can't really say for sure, but we know that uh, more than likely uh, a strain in that shoulder uh, that happened in that collision with Annika Lopez in the first half. Again, the final score here tonight. Brimfield improves to 4-0. Farmington drops to 1-4 on this young season. 64, 63 rather for Brimfield, 42 for Farmington. For M. Bixler Video Productions, I'm Mark Bixler. Until next time, so long everybody.